I think for level 90 plus dungeons it's, it's around 500 average per mob. Um, so there's that, I mean... It's not that much more when you compare that I am level 45 and that my guy is level 99. So, I don't know. I think they do speed things up though, just because, well, you gotta do another 10 levels now and we are up to a oh, 100 levels now to get to the latest content. As a kind of reminder, we used to have 60 as cap. So we're kind of way over that. Um, it's, it's actually... Uh, it's pretty easy to forget that 60 was the highest level once. And he pulled the boss. Great job, bro. I guess I can go full on darts on her. And I'm actually hitting her. That's a... Gosh. Well, she is kind of an optional boss, though. Why would I get... Eh? I just got over gold of money. And the... Oh, gosh. This is kind of like a little bit too much for my taste. Um, just gonna dot everything up, I guess. And everything's done. Well, that worked out. Uh, this one... Strength stamina. It's still better than mine, though, but I can't really roll on a strength item. Which is not appropriate. Let's go full on dots and hope that this thing dies quick. Actually, this is... Yeah, this Fury Warrior is dealing... Uh, is dual wielding two, two enders. Oh, huh. so apparently they unlocked this much... Faster. Why do I get so much gold? Huh? It says it's only gonna reward me with like uh, 66 gold, but it's always giving me one gold with 16, which is double that. Yeah, that's that's co almost exactly doubling the cost. I do have to get something, don't I? Yeah, the scale. No space in my inventory yet. Go, got that one. Oh, quest items again. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Quest items um, don't take backspace anymore. Um, because, well, it was silly that they did in the first place. To be quite honest with you. Okay, uh, we do have to kill the, the... Well, we do have to make the event. After that, we do have to kill some more bosses. I'm gonna, I'm gonna level up two levels if, if we do everything. It is. If we do, don't do everything. I'm probably gonna do like one and a half. But you always have to keep in mind that sixty uh, tw tw uh, twenty-six thousand experience is waiting there just by the completion of this dungeon, which is already enough to level me up. Way over level me up. Level me up. So, and there's not even that much, there's still a much, uh, still much left to do. Hmm, we'll see. We'll see. Hello, Sentry Rich. Actually, voice acted him, great. Uh, this guy is not in the boss list. He's some. He's kind of like a lead up to boss. You free this a lot. Well, this kind of mixed Hello. group, and then you deal with this shit. Um, the old, well, the real strategy for this was just trying to uh, survive on the on the top of the stairs, but now everybody just jumps in because they are not really doing that much damage. But in the earlier stages, you could only do uh, what we have done now with a level, uh, with a character that is way higher level than we are, or than you're supposed to be. There's another boss. Um, the spawns, the gut reaver is also well. Oh, they are both counting as bosses. Okay. 
to watch the main goal. Uh, Billy doesn't appear to be a boss, but you can't find him. Uh, fight him. Mm, don't need that. Monkey is usually agility, yeah. Is there still a quest left to do? Except for killing the sand boss. Hey there. Not quite What's sure. on your mind? Greetings. For the alliance. Why don't we? Why don't we do this optional boss, guys? There's still something left to do. Hello. So this is an optional boss, so might as well do it. Why not? Start it up. There we go. I mean, oh, he doesn't drop anymore. Hmm. So he's rather pointless. Okay, I do remember him with having something to drop. Uh, apparently, we are looking into doing the other bosses because the end boss is right up there. We're not trying to do that, and so we are going to kill all the other ones. Um, the next room with these Seco things, I don't know what they're called in English. Uh, shallow graves, or oh, they're just called graves, okay. No, do the optional bosses, it's worth it. Um, uh, there is enough, there's a lot of loot in there. People would do, in the earlier days, would do loot runs. Um, trying to get all the loot. There was a lot of cloth in here, but you can always spawn one of these little zombies. Sands consume you. But there isn't really much point to it now. So there we go, dead. Yeah, that is. Just kill the main guy. The zombies aren't that important. Oh, I got a level up. <laughs> nice staff. Gotta admit, nice staff. Strathholm! The last tier! Yay! <laughs> hey! Oh, new dungeon unlocked. Strathholm. Um, I could do that, but again, only one dungeon each recording session. Uh, Strange Dust. I do have another one here. Let's destroy that too. Got a lot of stuff. A lot of cloth. The Scarab boss is right here, which is rather interesting. Um, used to be... Again, for experience grinding you would kill everything in this, in this instance. Um, back in the day. And including all of the Scarabs. I think I always pulled most of them with, with my paladin back then. Just consecration and everything was was on me. It was really nice. Um. Oh, hello. Mm, and I think, well, the next the boss that we are going to kill next is the one who drops one piece of the sword. And then the end boss of this whole dungeon is gonna drop the other half, if we are lucky that is. But I've seen it drop a fair amount of time. Um, and these swords are really good for what they are. Um, and I think actually, some people back in the day at 60, some people actually try to get the epic weapon, um, even after they hit cap, because the epic weapon is just so good. I can't show you these, unfortunately. Because my endless loot is bugged out. Or oh, can I? I can, actually. Wait, classic? Nah. There we go. Uh, Sulfarek? Uh, this guy? There we go. There's the sword. I'm gonna show you that after the dungeon. Looks pretty cool, actually. I still have that on one bank. I'm not sure which character has it, but I think I still have that one. Something like my warrior, can it be? Could be. I think my warrior has it, yeah. 
Uh, let's kill this guy. And let's see what he dropped. There's actually one of his stuff. One of them is the tank sword. But this is the tank variation. I think one, the other one is with strength or agility. Um, this one. Oh, it's just it's just dealing physical damage. Okay. Um, chance to hit? No, it's also a tank sword. Absorbing damage. Kind of cool. Um, and this one is just ridiculous. Or was big? Uh, was ridiculous back in the day. If you had that while leveling, you were set. You're gonna. You would have kept that all the way up to cap. It's obviously not. It's that good at cap, but it's still fairly okay. It has a uh, chance to lower target strength, deal shadow damage, and deal a dart. It's ridiculous. It's really good. Really freaking good. Okay, let's do the end boss though. Um, we have more stops in another half. Maybe we could get this sword on this run. I doubt it though. I think the next piece is actually rare. There isn't, uh, no, there's no percentage combined with that. Has any of you noticed that the newest version of Atlas Loot doesn't really function? If you put, uh, go to collections, you can only see Miss uh, or um, VOD related stuff. We repeat the same. It's kind of ridiculous, actually. I have no idea why. The dungeon journal is there, I guess. But it doesn't show you full sets and stuff. So it's kind of hard to see the particular look of... Um, this of, like, a set. Mine. Back uh, in Next Ramus, where, or back in World of the Lich King, where each set would have a different um, color based on the difficulty you would get it. For example, one set would be green and supreme, and the other set would Feel be would be brownish. Of the sands. Um, that's completely gone now. You can't check that. You kind of have to keep it in mind. Ripsaw also won. I think I had this with my shaman back. Yeah, I have this. I had this with my shaman. Really good card. Uh, card. Really good. Really good item. Um, but let's get our way out of here. I mean, we, we did all of it. Really cool. Really cool to see that again. Um, but we have done it. And I'm actually kind of glad we did. Let's see what we else. Corrupted eggs. I don't think this is going to be in this mine. Let's see if there's anything on top. I mean... It's a corrupted egg. Top of him, but creeper egg. Oh, one. Oh god, this is gonna take a while. So you gotta loot the egg. One egg. One egg at a time. Are you serious? Oh gosh, this is gonna take forever. And it has to be out of the way. There has to be another way. This can't be. This can't be real. I mean, one egg at a time, up to sixty. Sounds wrong to me. Um, I think in the mine there might be something else that you can get more eggs from, because that would be ridiculous. And you get 60 freaking eggs. One at a time. Um, no, let's see. Let's see in this mine. Uh, there can't be just miners in here. They're running. Spiders are running around. I mean, there's that. Um, is there like a little egg here somewhere? Well, there are a bunch of eggs. But all of them. Are lootable. Let's see. Let's see the written description real quick. Uh, you will find. Uh, yes. Uh, need you to head into the fields southwest and carefully harvest the eggs. 
but in incubating on the beer. Deliver the harvested to service at my at the mine.